Hello everyone and welcome back. <clears throat> so, another pretty good battle here. Uh, this was sent to me by Belle, one of my viewers. I uh, kind of changed her color since the last battle. But uh, she's going to be running a, a fairly standard katana core with a uh, typical Belle flair to it. Uh, so let's take a look. We have six katana samurai here, all fresh. Three boashi garu. Uh, the melee cavalry is a yari and a light cavalry. Uh, two yari samurai. And then over here, of course, being Belle, two bow cavalry. Uh, meanwhile, over here... We have, obviously, there are units in hiding right now, but uh, at the moment, there's a Matchlock Monk, a Bow Samurai, a European Cannon, a Yari Samurai, a Naginata Monk, a Nodachi, and another Yari Samurai. Uh, two Great Guard will also come out of hiding a little later. So uh, this map is at Foothills. The two dominant features are these two hills with the ridges on them. And uh, as you might expect, Bell is going to be doing a lot of skirmishing here in the beginning. Um, so, a uh, good thing to do is to just put your main force in a nice defensive position, i.e. this hill right here, and uh, just have them sit tight until the bow cavalry can do what they do best. Um, so, uh, can you determine a core here for white? Well, I guess they're both white. This is going to be hard. Uh, this guy is pink trim, so I guess maybe I'll call him pink, and I guess I'll just call her Belle, because she is Belle. And uh, so, this will be just pink or the enemy or something. So, uh... Anyway, look at the enemy's army. Like, can you really see a core here? European cannons, maybe. Uh, a siege weapon core? I guess he's got a lot of... A couple spears, you know? Kind of playing around that. A matchlock monk. I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, I guess I would say a siege weapon core, because if you have a siege weapon, I mean, your strategy has to revolve around that. Uh, you can't use the foothill, really, because you'd be abandoning your siege weapon. So uh, that kind of forces him to play from this hill. Uh, so it's really hard to say. Um, if we look at Belle, uh, Katana Core, but uh, just her play style is just very heavy on skirmishing. So uh, it's, a, it's a Katana Core, definitely, I would say, but uh, supported with Bow Cavalry. And she does a really good job with Bow Cavalry. I think these are both fresh, though. Uh, she did lose her General with the uh, General Deleting Bug. I don't know if that deletes her Veterans or not, but regardless, these two Bow Cavalry are not Veterans. So uh, Pink over here is just going to be wasting a shot shooting at Bow Cavalry. Uh, Bell is going to respond quite nicely and just kind of let it happen. Uh, right now, she's just sitting here trying to entice more shots out. There goes two. Now, remember, European cannons only have ten shots. So, there's two shots gone. And uh, how many to kill? Three men. So, yeah. A uh, great thing to do when you're fighting a siege weapon user. Just try and get them to waste their ammo. Yeah, that's what he's doing here. He already popped in. He popped his increased range already on the matchlock monks. That was kind of silly. It's not a toggleable ability, it's an activated ability that only lasts a certain amount of time, so don't do that. Um, what I would have done, maybe, is Bell. I would have, of course, gone on Ambush Patrol, because that's clearly not a full-size army. So, she has a light cavalry. Would have sent him out to do some scouting. Uh, find what's hiding in the trees, because you know there's something. In fact, did something just come out? Yes, one great guard has just come out. Uh, there will be another one coming out shortly. But I would have an Ambush Patrol... And then, if I found all the scary stuff, I would just tentatively, uh, after I, of course, I had made the European cannon waste his shots, and in fact, I might have just sent a bow cavalry right at the European cannon right away. Just get a nice little charge off and just sack him to take out the European cannon, and that's, I don't know how many koku down the drain. But uh, over here, we got a little ambush. Uh, Yari samurai and a bow samurai are coming around here. Uh, gonna try and skirmish, maybe. But uh, once that cannon was, was neutralized, I probably just moved my whole main body up just out of range of the enemy, and just skirmish with my bow Ashigaru and my bow cavalry. Uh, hey, why not? I mean, you have a big numbers advantage. I mean, talk about advantages. I mean, white or pink over here is a pretty crappy uh, infantry line. I mean, two Yari Samurai, a Nodachi, two Naginata Monks, that's it, compared to Bell's, what was it, six Katana Samurai? Big infantry advantage. And uh, really, in every battle, and this is what I'm going to kind of complain a little bit about, uh, about Bell's strategy in this. You gotta think about what's gonna win the battle. How is the battle going to end? Obviously, there's probably gonna be an infantry clash. You have a katana core. That's how the battle's gonna end. And you need to be thinking about that uh, when you attack. But uh, anyway, I'll talk more about that later. Um, Bell is doing a pretty good job just coming back and forth and back and forth. Uh, Pink seems to have a bow general. Uh, he is shooting. You can see the bows there on his back and uh, 30 men in the unit, so probably a bow general. So, um, having lower defense, you can actually skirmish pretty well against bow generals. That's, that's the weakness. They are very strong with their bows, uh, but they still are weak to arrow fire. So she's going to try and uh, whittle him down as much as possible. But, um, I don't know, maybe that might not be the best strategy. Maybe, I, I probably would have shot at the matchlock monks, though they are, <laughs> excuse me, they are fresh. So, uh, I don't know. You could really be shooting at anybody, I guess. 
anyone's good at another. There's no real core you can see here. Maybe, I, actually, I wouldn't shoot at cannons. Uh, you're just, you can't whittle them down, really, and as long as there are men in the unit, they're still useful, because they can still shoot the cannons, so no point in whittling them down. You need to take them out all at once, or, uh, or never at all. So really, they could be shooting anywhere. Uh, basically with bow cavalry, you're just trying to entice the enemy to uh, make mistakes, get angered, you know, try and chase off your bow cavalry, lure him into a trap, things like that. But uh, that won't really work if the enemy has a siege weapon, because they're probably not going to abandon it and leave it all alone. So you need to, uh, you can't really do that. You have to be doing damage with them. And it, it can be hard to do bad damage with bow cavalry. Uh, they do their damage kind of slowly. Um, if, if the enemy lets them use all their ammo, they can do quite a bit of damage, but uh, it, it's hard to do, especially if the enemy has a big uh, range complement. Though this guy doesn't, so Bell could take all day just kind of skirmishing and uh, whittling down the enemy as much as possible. And, uh, that'll work in her favor because, boy, she sure loves to do that, as you'll see later in the battle. But uh, killed about five men so far in the general bodyguard, doing a pretty good job. But when he brought his matchlock monks up, you got to think what's going to turn the battle in the enemy's favor. Uh, obviously, Bell has a, a pretty big infantry advantage, so what's going to turn the battle? It's either going to be cavalry or maybe matchlocks. I doubt a bow general will turn, will turn an infantry battle, so maybe he's not the best target to skirmish with. Uh, if you can get him early, great. But uh, in terms of skirmishing, I'd probably be focusing more on the matchlocks, because uh, they're more likely to turn an infantry battle, I think, than a bow general. Uh, so if you can take him out completely, then sure, go for the general, but with just skirmishing like this, I don't know. I'd probably be hitting the monks. Um, but she, I think she's missing some, some skirmish opportunities. She could have brought her whole range complement up uh, to be skirmishing. She could have been very aggressive here, because Pink just has a pretty weak army. It just it doesn't really have a core. Uh, there's, no, there's no real powerhouse units besides the Great Guard and the Siege Weapon, and the Siege Weapons have limited use of this. Uh, he's wasting his ammo, and he's going to run out pretty soon. And then just two Great Guard. Uh, Bell has plenty to counter Great Guard. Now, she doesn't need cavalry to win the infantry battle, remember, having a pretty sizable infantry advantage. So not only does she have two Yari Samurai, but she also has four cavalry units that can be used to block charges. So basically, there's no way the Great Guard are getting around the rear if Bell plays right. Um, another good thing is, since he doesn't have a whole lot of infantry, Bell can keep her infantry line really, really compact. Like, if you look at her infantry line right now, she could put all these units in the space of about three now. And, have, and those two Yari Samurai could easily cover the rear and put the cavalry, the cavalry on the sides to block charges and just walk her katanas in and just mess Pink up. Uh, but you got to take out the cannon first. Um, and look how exposed it is. I bet you could probably easily catch this guy off guard and get a good charge into the cannons. Uh, that's probably what I would do. Bow cavalry, they are terrible in melee, but they're still cavalry and they can still get off a good charge. So uh, one charge can easily be enough to just wipe out a siege weapon. Um, Let's see, anything interesting going on? Yeah, he's got this, I don't know what he's doing over here. He's got these two units. Um, unless he's planning to shift his whole army, uh, he's probably thinking of attacking Bell on that hill, because she's got a pretty strong position, and uh, she has quite a bit of ammo to be skirmishing with. So uh, Pink is kind of put on the spot here, and he's got to make a move. I'll triple speed it, because Pink's whole army is now kind of shifting. And uh, there's a serious opportunity here. Uh, his general is pretty exposed. The nearest infantry unit is pretty far away. And if Bell made a move right now, by the time he noticed it, that infantry would not be able to react in time to get to the general. She, she could get a good charge off with this cavalry unit. There's only 34 men in the unit. Probably used a lot of its ammo. Maybe its usefulness is uh, starting to wane a little bit. A good charge right into a bow general uh, in this long formation where you could hit the entire unit in a single charge. Could do some serious damage and maybe kill the general. Uh, the Great Guard is also rather far away, but uh, he's starting to move now. But uh, basically, there's only one unit that can cover either the cannon or the general, and either one would be exposed uh, by a cavalry charge. Though maybe you might not want to hit the cannon, because he might be out of ammo. Let's see, he's stationary. Who knows, he might be out of ammo. I think they reform when they run out of ammo, so I think he still has some shots left. But uh, boy, this is not a good map to bring a cannon to. Uh, I never really look at the map, so I'd probably bring one anyway and think, oh shit, I can't really use it very well here. But uh, not the kind of map you want to bring a siege weapon to with all these hills. Uh, meanwhile, she's whittled the general down to 21 men. Uh, pretty good job there. Now, she's in a very strong position here. Uh, she could skirmish with her bows and really entice the enemy into making a really, uh, really crazy attack up this hill. Now, hills are not impenetrable fortresses by any means. But uh, luring him onto the hill and then getting a downhill charge with their already sizable infantry advantage would just be the end of this match easily. Uh, there's going to be an infantry battle at some point, and you're going to want to have it in a spot that uh, is good for you. And so charging downhill is always good for the attacker. 
So I don't know why she's pulling back here. I guess she just wants to skirmish as long as possible. Uh, that's her play style. She really likes skirmishing. Uh, I can get behind that. But uh, I don't know. It might be a little cocky, you know. That was a really good position for her forces to be in. Uh, but she might be wanting to... Uh, to have an ambush because she's moving back to another hill over here but she's leaving his, her cavalry here so maybe she's thinking I'll move back to another hill and uh, then maybe get an ambush off and try and get some units to get caught off guard so meanwhile the cannon is shooting at the bow cavalry still what a waste yeah I mean I guess if you have a siege weapon you kinda have to camp unless you hide it and try and get the enemy into range and snipe the general you just kinda have to camp with it so I don't think I'd ever bring one. I, it might be fun to bring sometimes if you know you can catch your enemy off guard, but um, it's just limited usefulness uh, for things like this, and then all you can do is waste your ammo on skirmishers. And, uh, speaking of skirmishers, let's look at the numbers. Uh, oh, actually, on one hand, uh, she was looks like she was waiting for an ambush, but uh, got discovered, and so now she's pulling back. Let's see, where did her Yari cavalry go? Is it gone? No, I think it's... Where is it? There it is. Okay. So yeah, she just pulled back. Uh, not really. I don't know. And especially, I mean, look at this. Her general, is st his general is still all the way over here. So if she would have gotten him, she could have just attacked right there and just ended this battle. A nice little downhill charge. Uh, skirmishing heavily with those three Boashigaru. Uh, don't know why she didn't choose to uh, form the attack there. Because think about how the battle is going to end. It's going to be an infantry battle, right? She doesn't have enough cavalry to just to win this battle. I mean, these two bow cavalry aren't going to annihilate the enemy's army. That's obviously not going to happen. Um, so it's going to have to end with a katana charge. Uh, it just, it's got to be an infantry battle it's gonna, that's going to end the battle. That's how most battles end. You have to be thinking about the infantry battle and when and where that's going to take place. And you want that to happen in a place that's most advantageous to you. And uh, a place going downhill uh, into the enemy with the generals halfway across the map is pretty advantageous. You pretty much can't lose that if you have an infantry advantage. But uh, pink is going to regroup here. Uh, I guess, let's see, I'll fast forward. She's not really skirmishing at this point. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe, I guess she might be out of ammo, but I think they start shooting later. I don't know. She may be just biding her time, waiting for a good spot. So Pink is going to move again and put himself in a decent position. If you're going to attack this hill, this is probably the best angle for it, uh, where you get some coverage by the trees. Find a gentle slope here, maybe on the north side. Oh, that's not very gentle. But uh, regardless, going through the trees is probably the best option. So he puts himself in a pretty good position to attack Bell's position. And Bell's once again in a very advantageous spot. She has a chance for a downhill charge. Um, and also one thing, think about this. Uh, fighting in the forest is a very good place for her to fight. Because the only way that Yellow is going to pull this battle out is if his great guard come in from the rear and smash into her infantry line. So where do you want to fight cavalry? Well, in forest is a pretty good spot. So, uh, though it is downhill, but the force will kind of ruin his charge anyway and give him a disadvantage in the melee battle. So, uh, think about how the enemy is going to win the battle with cavalry. I doubt the Matchlock Monk will, being totally fresh. They're not that good when they're totally fresh. Uh, so, probably not going to win there. And here's a great guard. Uh, talk about this right here. Uh, she had a light cavalry lure in a great guard and uh, going to get pinned down, try and kill it with a Katana Samurai, but he's going to pull out in time. And uh, his, his bow samurai are going to get some nice shots into this katana samurai too. So uh, a little botched. Um, Pink pulled out in time. Good move. Don't want to sit there and lose one of your great guard, which you're going to need to win the battle. Uh, so good job conserving his key units. Uh, not Let's see. Let's take out his infantry. I just want to make sure I got this right. Okay. There's a Yari samurai. Nagi not a monk. No dachi. Another Yari. So two Yari samurai. Is that it? Is that really it? I'm counting six infantry units. But there's a matchlock and a bow. So he has four infantry units. That's it. And two yari. Wow. That's really that's a really bad army comp. I mean, what's your infantry? Two Yaris, a Naginata Monk, and a Nodachi. Now, that is not going to stand very well against another competent infantry corps. Especially a Katana Corps. That's not happening. Uh, one Bow Samurai and one matchlock monk that's fresh. That's, I mean, what's going to win the battle here for Pink? The cannon? I guess, I guess it has to be. Oh, meanwhile, her bows did come in and just clean up the cannon, so there's a bunch of koku down the drain. It's just siege weapons, they seem too situational. Like, you just, can you use them that effectively? You can't use them proactively. And so you're kind of, you're taking a gamble. Um, but here, look, should look, nice little downhill charge. Gonna go right into some Yari Samurai. Uh, I tried to get the bows, but they're gonna pull out in time. But right into the Yaris, I wanna see their numbers. 
how many just got killed. Look at that. 40 men. They're down to 80 now. So nice chart. Down to 60 now. They're just getting creamed. 50. 47. See what I mean? Downhill charge. Just crush these guys. And that is a it is a veteran. Only one chevron though, but uh, so bam, there goes one of his infantry units. So he has three infantry units. This is a perfect place to fight. I mean look at this. He's his whole army is here. Why she didn't attack here, I don't know. Um, but she's gonna put herself in another decent position uh, over here. Now, uh, you don't get the downhill charge, uh, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, she has the infantry advantage. This is still a good position, because with the ridge here in the rear, uh, the enemy can't flank with cavalry. So again, she's in a good position still. Uh, Katana Samurai being a nice diversion, and managed to route that Yari Samurai. So, uh, again, she puts herself in a good position. But I don't know why she keeps pulling back at this point. Is she still trying to skirmish? I didn't see any bow cavalry really doing anything. Uh, but now it looks like they're going to come up and uh, do some skirmishing. Now look, his general's pretty exposed right here. Uh, there's an opportunity for a charge, a downhill charge right into the general. Uh, especially just send the weak unit that only has 28 men. Just run right into him, take him out. Uh, that'd be, just be another nail in Pink's coffin here. But look, he wasted his rally, I guess trying to get the Yari Samurai back. Not very good though. Bad time to use rally. I didn't even mention that. Pretty simple. Now let's see. Yeah, just doing more and more skirmishing. Jeez, when are they gonna run out of ammo? I don't know how much. I don't know how many volleys bow cavalry have. Someone please enlighten me if you do know. Uh, but these are not veterans. They don't have the the uh, ammo upgrade. But that's interesting. But he still has his great guard intact. The one thing that can win the battle for Pink is still there, and that's the great guard. Uh, if Bell gets a little sloppy with her positioning, great guard could turn this battle. Uh, it seems not likely though. She's done a good job of thinning him out, and Pink just did not have a good army composition. You didn't think about strengths, weaknesses, what's going to win the battle. Um, and, I mean, you could say the Corps may be great guard, but uh, if you say that, then it's not very well supported with only those four infantry units and two of them being spears. I mean, I don't know why you want to bring too many spears if you had, like, a cavalry corps. Because you're going on the attack, you know? I don't know. Maybe a couple of Yari Ashigaru to, like, guard the rear. They bring a lot of lone swords and just tie them down as much as possible. I don't know, just a very very uh just a bad army composition it's just bad i can't think of anything that's really good about it besides that some of the units are pretty powerful you know great guard so uh but look she's gonna pull out again i don't know why i mean sure her bow cavalry are pretty hurt they're pretty tired they're not gonna do a whole lot of damage so i don't know why she'd be wasting time I mean, look, my philosophy is just fight the battle where you have an advantage and just move on to the next one, get more wins. But I guess some people just like to draw them out. Uh, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe likes the feeling of being in control and just completely dominating someone and drawing it out as long as possible. You're a sick person, Belle. Nah, just kidding. Anyway, uh, look, and her, her force is completely fine. She's just, I bet she's just having a lot of fun here just toying with pink. And just tearing them apart with the skirmishing. General's down to night. Look, his general's exposed again. Could have maybe gotten a charge off there. I don't know. But I think if I were up against a weak opponent with no core, I just want to finish that as soon as possible. Just run in, just crush that guy. Uh, I like short battles. I like going in and just winning and just dominating and spitting on their grave and walking out in just a couple minutes. But I guess uh, some people just don't share that, that uh, enthusiasm for a quick victory. Anyway. Oh, oh boy. Alright, so she moves to another position, which is basically the same as the last one. Uh, except it doesn't have a forest. I mean, this was a this was a better position than the other one, because you got the forest here. You could trap some cavalry in there, maybe. Uh, but maybe it, maybe it sounds good, because it doesn't give as much uh, room for the bows to shoot. But, I mean, do you really need bows at this point? What are they going to do? Shoot into the infantry mass? What mass? He has three units. There's no mass there. Uh, apparently the matchlocks weren't much of a concern. They've only lost eight men so far. She's not skirmishing with them. Uh, she's just running around shooting at everybody, I guess. Uh, so, uh, I don't know what the bows are going to do. I would have just been skirmishing here. Just run them up, skirmish. Could have attacked here. I mean, you could do anything. I'm going triple speed because that's starting to get pretty long. Jeez. Uh, but look, the great guard is going... I mean, putting yourself here may not be such a good spot. Um, there's places you can maneuver around. He could get his bow samurai up on top of the ridge. And to have free reign, maybe, to shoot the general. Uh, just be shooting everywhere along his lines. Her lines, excuse me. And uh, just forcing her to, like, to move and can maybe catch her on the move. Uh, so, I don't know. Great guard going to try and make an attack on the bows. But uh, Yari's going to do a jo good job covering them. So, 
no problem. I think it's just going to be flustered here. It's going to be very hard for him to attack. And this is what's good about the missile cores. Uh, you got to understand this about missile units. Power-wise, they aren't they aren't so good. They're they're definitely the least powerful of the three. But they have strong psychological power in that they can force enemies into, into an attack. Because you can just skirmish with them all day. They may not be very uh, powerful volley for volley. But uh, over time, that adds up. And people don't want to just sit there while they're being shot at. So uh, the psychological value of them is very strong. And uh, over time, they can be very powerful. Uh, so let's see what's happening here. Um, Bell's just having a nice little uh, diversion here of the Yari Cavalry. Bad move by Pink, just running his Great Guard in first, getting him tied down. Should have had the infantry going in first. But uh, going to set up a nice shot for the matchlocks at least. But they're going to be of limited use being now at half strength. I guess they got skirmished when I was triple speeding. And just uh, and he just has no chance. His whole army is concentrated here. Come on, Bell, just finish this off. And there we go. The Katanas are moving up. This battle will be finished soon. Um, the Bow Ashy Guard are shooting into the monks. They've now lost a couple men. And Pink just got shredded there. and <laughs> Just no chance. And look, look at that. I mean, he's gone. And this wasn't even a, a very... Like, the position-wise, this wasn't a very strong position, and she's still just gonna walk in and just clean the house with this guy. So, I don't know why she didn't do it earlier, but, uh, just wanting that draw out the victory as long as possible, I guess. Let's zoom in a little here. Bell pops a rally just for shits and giggles, and, uh, just clean him up. Didn't even need a cavalry. I mean, look, see, didn't even need a cavalry flank. Uh, if you have an infantry advantage, you don't need cavalry doing hammer and anvil, so they're free to do other things like uh, block charges for the enemy's great guard, who will be coming in trying to flank you to get the infantry advantage on their side. And uh, let's see, it'll be over here in just a second. There we go, battle's over. So this is running a bit long, so uh, um, I guess I, I, mean, I have plenty of time to talk about what I was going to talk about, so I guess I'll just end the video here. So thanks for watching, everybody.